Hello, hello, hello. Well, what do you know? I'm back. <laughs> I, I apologize. It's been a couple of weeks since I did a video. I've been doing some shorts here and there, but um, haven't been feeling too well, having some a few health issues. God's got me. I'm going to be okay, but it's been tough. Can't lie. And then uh, dealing with uh, family issues as well. But life must go on. And I have to share this huge haul with you because I spent over $300 on groceries. You would think the kitchen would be full, but no. Groceries are expensive right now, but I wanted to come in and share this haul. Um, there's a few items here that are on the healthy, healthier side for me because I really need to check my health. Um, what you put in your body really makes a difference as to how you feel. And doing this health journey that I'm going through, I need to eat some food that's going to strengthen me and make me not want to sleep all day. So let's turn around and see what we have. Today is Saturday, um, August. <laughs> it is August the 12th. And uh, I had the day off, rested a little. I Well, I rested some. Um, I really did a deep clean to my kitchen, to my floors and all that stuff like that. Because when you have the energy, you have to do what you got to do. So let's turn around and take a look at this haul. Here we have it, folks. I had an Instacart delivery just now. And stocking up on some meats and um, other things. And as I told you, I'm filling up my freezer and I'm doing some healthier things for, for us. Let's start over here. We have some jasmine rice because all my rice is uh, down to, I think I have one cup of rice, both in the jasmine rice and in my yellow rice. So I had to restock that have some jasmine rice, have my Vigoro, Vigo uh, yellow rice that my husband loves so much. And then we have some chicken here, I have some legs and some thighs, legs and thighs. Yes, and I'm going to uh, separate this. I'm going to be making some roasted chicken for meals this week. We have some eggs. I got eggs so that I can boil some for snacking and also to make some tuna made chicken salad this week uh back here something for the guys snacking some uh chicken wings i got a few two lemons we have some kale because I'm, i love kale salad but i also like to cook kale as like greens so i think i might do some greens uh, with meals along with uh, restocked the broccoli for the freezer as well. We have some wasa crisp bread. I like that and I'm going to be making some avocado toast in the mornings with that. Got uh, English cucumber here. Two things of hard cheese. My son likes to make macaroni and cheese. And I got some um, the fixings for that for him. And that's what the hard cheese is for because I really can't do dairy right now. Dairy is not my friend. He got some cream cheese. We got um, cheese here for sandwiches as well. And some salami for sandwiches. And some black forest ham for sandwiches we have some string cheese for snacking and some smoked sausage two packs of that i'm going to be making some uh red beans and rice for tomorrow 
No, I don't do dry beans. I know that's better. But I don't like <laughs> the dry beans because it takes too much preparation. But I'll be making some red beans and rice. We have pizza rolls for snacking. Um, some sweet potatoes. That'll be part of my meal. And, of course, I said we were making tuna. I have some tuna here. Some avocados. I love avocado toast. It's very tasty. We have some sliced apples here for my fruit salads. Some watermelon for fruit salad. Also some blueberries, strawberries. Up here we have bread for sandwiches for the guys. Back here we have peanuts for snacking and for my fur friends outside, my squirrels, they love those. And then we have uh, some plantain chips because that had, these have less preservatives that I can snack on. So it's better for my gut. Oh, and back here, forgot, we have some uh, butter for eating and cooking. And here we have, yes, I love pickles. <laughs> so I got me two kind. I got some for, for sandwiches and then some that you can just eat straight dill pickles. I, and that's something that I like to just snack on is pickles. And uh, trying to stay away from so much coffee. So I got me some probiotic tea that I can drink in the mornings and even at night now because that's caffeine free. Got some sauerkraut. Yes, I like sauerkraut in my salads. And just to have as a side with food, with, with a meal, as well as the pickles. And believe it or not, sauerkraut and pickles and all that stuff is really good for your gut health. It helps your digestion very well. So um, that's what I'm working on is trying to get my, my tummy better. Got me some classic chai tea here and um, that's something also to replace me some <laughs> drink from drinking coffee. Some uh, planters mixed nuts, some salsa water along with regular pure life water. Have two in the pantry but we always buy water every week during hurricane season. We have some spinach, some baby spinach, and um, spring mix for salads as well. Spinach I'm gonna make in meals. Um, some Ritz crackers, some snacks here. These are mainly for the guys. Again, I'm gonna have to cut back on these things because they're too much preservatives for me. We have home style ranch dressing. And this dressing actually is better, believe it or not, than Hidden Valley. And it has more natural products in it. Um, not so many, so many things on the back that you can't pronounce. More natural products and it tastes better. It tastes fresher. Um, to me now, the Hidden Valley Ranch one tastes artificial compared to this one. So that's a very good, take a look at it. It's a very good home style ranch dressing that um, is better for you. And then we have back here some Fig Newtons because I'm not buying those expensive fig, <laughs> fig bars anymore because they are $6 a box. But here we have it guys. This is my haul for the week. And um, it's not a whole lot, but it's a whole lot of money. I hope everybody's doing well and um, stay blessed out there in these streets. Do what you can and keep praying. Pray without ceasing. This is a season that we are in that we got to pray. Stay on your knees for all the issues that are going on politically, in the world, so many different <laughs> weird things going on. We're, we're living in a different kind of world right now. So 
we love you here at this channel and we thank you so much for 300 subscribers hit that without even doing my hauls every week so thank you all have a blessed week we love you and there's nothing you can do about it